All right, I need everyone to listen up. Everybody listen up. Tell your neighbor, listen up. Listen up. Tell your neighbor, listen up. Listen up. Now we're going to do this old school style. Right. We didn't always have megaphones. That's right. That's right. We didn't always have microphones. Yeah, yeah. But we still could get the right. word out. Right. Yeah. I want us to pause right now. We've got people from all over the state of Michigan. Yeah. Let's just take a roll call real, real quick. Benton Harbor, stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Benton Harbor, Benton Harbor, all up in here. Muskegon, stand up. Yeah. Detroit, stand up. Yeah. Flint, stand up. Yeah. If I didn't call your city, just name your city name right now. Pontiac. Pontiac, stand up. Pontiac, stand up. Pontiac. Ann Arbor, stand up. Michigan, stand up. NAACP, he gonna put his preacher voice on this morning. I want you that man right there can do it. I want you to hear. I want you to hear from Reverend Edward Pinkney. We're gonna work on getting our representatives inside, but let us receive Reverend Edward Pinkney. Make some noise for Reverend Pinkney. to be here today. Yes. And I want to thank everybody for coming. Yes. Because today we're going to take back yes. what they have taken from us. Yes. It's time that we take this thing to a whole different level. Yes. We have to change the way we're doing business with you. Yes. They're going to have to start taking us serious. Yes. We came here from all over the state. Yeah. Right. And they're blocking the doors. Yeah. It's time that we say enough is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Enough yeah. is enough. Yeah. Enough yeah. is enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. Let me say this. This whole thing about the phone yeah. is enough. a joke. It yeah. 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 Say it again. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. You know, what they have done to us, they have pushed this Trojan horse down our throats. Yeah. 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 Right. And they have installed these emergency managers in there yeah. right. to jump out at night and take over our city. Yeah. 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 So it's time that we say enough, enough is enough. enough. Can we say enough is enough? Enough is enough. enough. Can we say enough is enough? Enough is enough. Can we say enough is enough? Enough is enough. We can say this, can we? Yeah. So let's fight back. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Now listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, we have the kids out here in the hot sun. Let's show them what democracy is all about. This is symbolic because we're outside of the courthouse because we've been outside of the law the whole time. That's right. We've been outside of democracy the whole time because democracy is not free. Right. Corporate Act 4 is here. That's and in the right. words of Quincy Stewart, this low-level democracy hasn't been working for us. That's right. Right That's now, true. they're picking and choosing who they want to let in the courthouse. Yeah. Right. If there's room for one, there's room for all. That's right. That's if there's right. room for one, there's room for all. That's right. That's right. 226,000 people from across the state signed the signature. The reason they don't want to let us in the courthouse is because it should have never came to court. That's right. We should be voting on this in November right now. That's right. But instead of putting it on the ballot, they don't want to see your face. That's right. They don't want to see your face. That's right. So they send security guards that we pay for with our tax dollars to tell us that we can't come into our buildings that we pay for with our tax dollars. How asinine is that? So I want you to look at these kids. Look at the babies. Look at the babies. Look at the babies. This is what we're fighting for. This is what we're fighting for. Because our kids are not going to see us on our backs. They've come 
in the Pontiac, rape that city, pillage that city. They're in Detroit telling you that Belle Isle is not their park. They got rid of the library boards. They took them in the harbor and turned it into a golf course. All with your tax dollars. And now they don't want to let us in the building. Let us in. Let us in now. Let us in now. Let us in. Listen, children, thank God for you being here today. That's right. Justice denied means that, that they're trying to take it from us. They took it first in Benton Harbor, now they in Flint fooling around with our future. Right, but we ain't going to sit down. We are not going to sit down for it. That's they right. try to keep us out of here, but they're not going to keep us out of those polls in November. Yeah. 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 They're not going to keep us away from it. You can keep us out of here today. But this ought to make every last one of us find somebody and take them to the poll in November. Are you with me today? No more PA4! 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 Make some noise for the Lord today! Larry, maybe you can 
and we'll get this question first. And uh, Larry, I want you just to give us some context for why we're here today, how this affects labor, how this affects the workers, how it affects Michigan, how it affects all of us. And so, what's, what's your question? You got a good heart. Go on and let the Lord use you. Open the door. They, we've asked that question. They have just basically unilaterally denied our access. They're saying every room is full, which we know is a lie, but we're working on that. We're working on that. Put your hands together for Larry from Ashley. Put your hands together. Hello, Michigan. First of all, let me say this. I know it's been said before. I don't claim to be a minister. But, you can. but I am a believer. Can I get an amen for what we're here for? It's been said many times. We will not be turned away. Sometimes we have to sit down. Yeah. But this day we have to stand up. We are here. Because first of all, they tried to change the way we do business with labor unions and workers' families. They tried to take away our right to sit at the table as equals. See what this feels like to the rest of the country now? This is what they've been doing to organized labor for 10 years. Taking away your voice. It now strikes home. When you take away the right to rule yourselves, you invite a dictator. Dictators do not fit in America. When we said, what does the face of democracy look like? This is what my union looks like. Raise your hands, just put your hands. See how different they are? But they all have this finger that does this and says, let us in! 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 By trade, I am a treasurer. I am a labor person all the way to my spirit. And I know some things about stuff. I know one thing, that it takes money to build stuff like this. I know that your money paid for this stuff. So if my money and your money, and even our friends in uniform that are here to protect us from the lawbreakers inside. See how you do that? It's okay, brother, you can smile, we're with you. The real deal is, they will not shut us out. They can close the door, but they will not keep us from voting. They may make it difficult, but they will never, Lord Jesus, they will never break our spirit because the spirit of democracy lives on here in that Supreme Court room and in that Supreme Chair. That's the one that counts. So y'all, whatever you're doing here, look out. Because the real dude's watching what you do. Yeah. And we're going to be around in November, yeah. and we are not going to give up. Yeah. The Court of Appeals ruled in our favor, and corporate Michigan found a way to appeal it and bring it here today. In the words of my dear sainted godmother and my good friend Reverend Bullock and my mentor Bernadelle Jefferson, the bishop, three little words that should be right here in your heart forever. Hope, Hope springs, springs eternal. eternal. 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 God save us all from them. And now my good friend and brother, Brandon Jessup. He's bashful. 
<laughs> but he's pretty. I'm gonna be as I'm gonna be as brief as we need to be. Yeah. February 29th, we turned in 226,637. How many, man? How many? Say it again, man. How many? 226,637. Yes, sir. It was you guys that made this thing possible. All right. Yes. You were the folks that did this with no budget. Mm -hmm. All right. Did it on the sweat of the labor of the love for what democracy really, really means. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. That it, it's our great equilibrium yes. in the face of, of, of injustice. Yes. And we see the blatant injustice right here today. Absolutely. It's clear. Uh, but we cannot be deterred from what our focus is. Yes. Right. It's to make sure that democracy gets to the ballot. Yes. Because we know about all the other voter suppression taxes that we see. That's right. Matter of fact, some of us had the gall to be thankful when Governor Snyder vetoed the voter suppression laws a few weeks ago. But then he said, you know what, I'll let the Secretary of State look at it from an administrative standpoint. So this is what administration gets you right now. The extra bureaucracy and the delay of what? Justice. The thing that we've been asking for for years in Benton Harbor. The things that we've been asking for for the second time around in Flint. Yes. The things that we've been asking for for four long years in Pontiac yes. and the nation's third richest county. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So let's be clear. This is about economics. Yes. Yes. This is about yes. economic equality. Yes. Yes. And to make sure that we have economic yes. equality, our voice has to be heard, amen? Yes. Yes. So when we think about where we are today on this hot summer day mm -hmm. in July, amen. remember that this Saturday, you'll be 100 days out from the November election. 100 days. If they don't hear you now, multiply those 226,000 names that you collected over the last 18 months. Turn it into 1.2 million. Then take that number and double it really fast, and now you get to 2.4 million. And you know what? Ask those 2.4 million friends to make sure that they turn out this November. Because if they can't hear you right now, they won't have a job in a hundred days. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. So this is, we see the bigger picture. We've seen it a long time ago. Yeah. This isn't just about emergency management. No, this isn't just about the dictators That's that you right. place in our community. That's right. This is about making sure that we keep the future of America at stake. Yes. And that starts from the president all the way down. Yes. And Michigan is doing its job. Yes. But guess what? Justice delayed justice is justice denied. denied. Yes. So today, stay vigilant, stay strong, and remember, we are in the fourth quarter of this fight. That's it. We don't get tired. Yeah. If your teammate is bending over, pick him up. Because we can't show weakness right now. Yeah. We can't show weakness because we right as now. a team, we yeah. as a team yeah. will get across and through the finish line. Yeah. Let's put this thing on the ballot. Let's make sure democracy is heard in Michigan. Yeah. Let's have a record turnout yeah. this November for all of Michigan yeah. for Michigan's yeah. future. Yeah. Yeah. Good, man. Good Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
We stood up. We said, I'm not going to just sit around and say somebody else is going to take care of it. And we're all here despite and in defiance of any fear we may have about what people will take against us. We are here. We stand against ignorance, apathy, and fear. And we will all teach our neighbors to stand against those three enemies. Because when we stand up, whether it's the law, whether it's the ballot, whatever it is, we will make ourselves heard and we will create change. In the 19, I'm going to quit, but I'm just going to remind everybody. In the 1950s, in the 1960s, did we have the law with us? We did not. But we stood. People much braver than I sacrificed much more than I have. And probably, I dare say, more than most of us in this crowd. But we're ready. We know it's our turn. And when we stand and we put our bodies in harm's way to speak for what is right, we will make change. Marcus Muhammad, City of Benton Harbor. City Council, we stand here today in front of the state of Michigan Supreme Court. And I'm no legal scholar, but I do know that certain cases need to be settled in court, and certain cases need to be settled out of court. I'm going to say that again. Say it again. Certain cases need to be settled in court. Yes. And certain cases need to be settled out of court. Yes. And this case here, well, we can't leave it up to those that have the authority in the courts. Yes. We have to take the case to the people. Yes. and allow for the people to settle this out of court. Yes. Now let me tell you how we're going to do that. All right. A. Philip Randolph was a union man. Yes, sir. And he went to the White House. And yes. FDR, they had a conversation. Yes, sir. And he said, ran down a litany of abuses, and FDR gave them all cigars, lit his, and said, I agree, Philip, with everything you have said. He said, but go out and make me do it. So we can't wait for justice to come down from the sixth floor. Justice has to come from the ground up, not from the top down. The Republican Party has run amok. That's right. They claim to be pro-life, but how can you be pro-life if you're not pro-democracy? When, when, when democracy ensures life, liberty, and what? So that's hypocrisy. So we want to put all other Republicans on notice. And all Democrats that have on an elephant jacket that your days in office are numbered. I love Wisconsin, but we don't want to be like Wisconsin. Because we have to keep our eye on the end game. So when we leave here today, we must strategize, mobilize, and organize. I don't think you heard me. Strategize, mobilize, and organize. Last point. Thomas Jefferson, he said he trembled for his country when he reflected that God is a just God. 
because of corrupted, wicked, and low down judges. So Dick Gregory came to the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., and he wanted to get in. Look at somebody and say, get in. And they wouldn't let him in. And the rationale that they gave him was that this building is for just us. This is the key. Sometimes justice is just us. I'm going to say it again. Sometimes justice is just us. And that's what we see today. I'm Councilman William from the city of Pontiac. Now listen, we've been through our third emergency financial manager. One, two, three. Let me tell you what we lost. We lost the Silver Dome that was built for $55 million. Somebody say $55 million. $55 They sold that building for $583,000. But that's emergency management. So I want you guys to do me a favor before y'all leave today. Everybody's calling this Public Act 4. This is not an act for the public. It's an act for the corporation. So, so when we leave today, we need to call this Corporate Act 4. Corporate Act 4. Because it's not acting for us. Because if it was, we would be inside the building instead of outside of the building. They refused to even open up a window to let us hear. People came from all over the state today and stood in the hot sun. Are you sweating yet? Yes. Are you sweating yet? Yes. Well, they're not sweating. They do this with a cool, calm conscience. And now is our time in November to make them sweat. We gonna have to make them sweat. We have to turn up the heat on them like they turned down the heat on us. They taxed senior pensions and got rid of corporate tax. They got rid of welfare, but pay emergency managers $135,000 a year to hire their friends and family, and they haven't created a job yet. They run commercials about 8% unemployment. Detroit just celebrated 311 year anniversary. And if it gets an emergency manager, it won't make it to 3,012. I mean, 312. It won't make it to 312. Because for the first time, the state said, we don't care about the people. Governor Snyder can come to a church in Detroit. But you can't be led into a courthouse in the Lansing capital. We stand right here on the steps today with our children with peaceful protests. Nobody brought guns. Nobody brought mace. But yet they want to turn us around. But when it's time to lock one of us up, they open the doors. Here they come. Here they come. Not only do they open the doors, but they give you a car. They give you a free ride with a chauffeur and a valet. But when it's time for you to exercise your right for democracy, they tell you you can't get in. I want everybody to remember this feeling right now. The day your government told you that you could not get in. That you could not open the door because somebody was blocking your way. And right now, what's blocking the way of our democracy is Public Act 4. Or what? Corporate Act 4 is blocking our democracy. That's what's killing us right now. Because what they said is, as long as they can line my pockets and the city gets poor enough, then I can strip the rights of it. The emergency managers have more power than the governor has. The governor cannot come into my city hall and do what he lets an appointed bureaucrat do to my city. And if, it, if we don't stop it now, and if we don't stop it in November, this is going to happen all around the country. And they're going to be locking the doors on everybody that doesn't make that 1%. Yes. taxes. The key, the key, everybody, is not just to let this stand. 
not just to go home and eat dinner with your family like nothing happened. I want you to have this emptiness and this pain in your gut because the government has failed us today. They asked for five more people to be let in. And they said they were not going to compromise. But we've continued to compromise with them. We give them breaks. Yeah. We give them ability to do again and again, and what have they shown us? And every point, that, that they don't care. Yeah. So what we're going to say is, down with corporate act for now. Put it on the ballot. Let me vote. Let me vote. Sometimes. Yeah. Our heels 
will get hard to climb. A road might get rough, but you got to hang on in there. I heard someone else that said that the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but unto he who endureth unto the end. And I don't know about y'all, but I made up my mind that this is not going to be a sprint. But it's gonna be a distance run, baby. And I got my I got my mental running shoes on. Because we gotta run the distance. Anybody in here ready to go the distance? Anybody here ready to know the distance? No wonder if we go the distance, that if we don't quit, we gonna win. I said if we don't quit, we gonna win. Yeah. We're going to impose our own person. 
We're going to cut collective bargaining agreements. Yeah. We're going to dismiss your right to vote. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I realize in that story of the three Hebrew boys, yeah. when the music played, they didn't have to think about whether they was going to be in. Yeah. They just didn't be. Yeah. They didn't have to think about whether they wasn't going to bow. Yeah. They just didn't bow. Yeah. And we're here to declare to Governor Snyder, yeah. we're here to declare to these, these so-called justices yeah. that we're not going to bend, we're not going to buckle, we're not going to bow, we're going to fight this all the way. That's right. yeah. Yeah. How many of you are ready to fight? Yeah. How many of you are going to stay in the fight? Yeah. Let me hear you say, we don't, we're not going to quit. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. Make some noise. I need you to make it loud. I want them to hear it in the courtroom. We're not going to quit. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. We're not going to quit. We're not going to quit. We're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep litigating. We're going to keep litigating. We're going to keep agitating. We're going to keep agitating. We're going to keep marching. We're going to keep marching. We're going to keep demonstrating. We're standing here today. This is the easy thing to do is to stand here. Yeah, it is. This is the easy thing. It's the easy to go stand over at the Capitol. That's right. It's easy to march every now and then. That's right. It's easy to get a little upset. Right. Yeah. But we're going to have to escalate. That's yeah. right. Turn to your neighbor and say, escalate. escalate. Well, what does escalate mean? Escalate means. Escalate means we got to move on up. Yeah. Curtis Mayfield said, Mayfield said, we got to keep on pushing. Curtis Mayfield said, we got to move up a little higher. If you can't hear me now, then maybe you'll hear me inside this building. Can I get a witness here? If you can't hear me now, then maybe we need to just make a surprise visit to Lance. Back out the, 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 the lobby. And stay there until justice is served to each and every single one of us across the state of Michigan. The bottom line is, it's not right. You want to tell me Public Act 4 is about financial stability? Not about financial stability. If it was about financial stability, then tell me why Allen Park is trying to beg for an emergency manager, and they ain't got an emergency manager yet. But Pontiac, 50% African American, emergency manager. Ben Harbor, Af African American, emergency manager. Detroit, consent agreement, emergency manager. Tell me, E Corps, why they got an emergency manager? Every Eastern Michigan, everywhere where there's over 50% African Americans in that community, there's an emergency manager. So we're going to organize, we're going to, we're going to continue to mobilize and work around this. Yeah. But understand this, the next time you call, if we don't get the decision to get this thing on the ballot, the next time you call, you're going to be called into escalated action. Yeah. yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, escalate. Escalate. Say, escalate. Escalate. All right, everybody say, yeah. Yeah. Make some noise. Yeah. discrimination in this world, slavery, slaughter, starvation, and millions are still trapped in poverty, so that's the reason we're here too. Next speaker, Mr. Motley, you got to come on up here. Yes, ma'am. What's your name? Paula Butler. Okay, Paula. How are you working tonight? Just hold the chair. Hold on. No, sister. I'm attorney Paula Butler. I came down from Muskegon with the Black Women's Political Party. I've been an attorney for 20 years. My bar card says I have the right to enter any court in the state of Michigan, and they will not let me in. Whether it be a thank you because of my car or because of the color of my skin. Lord, have mercy. And I don't preach. 
Okay, ma'am, are you ready to go ahead and respond? Power to the people. 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 We have the power. We have the power. Where did we get? Where do we get so that we do not have the power to run our own lives, to work on our own destiny? It's up to us. This Supreme Court belongs to us. We must no longer from this day forward tolerate the racism, the hatred, and the uh, uh, taking away of our civil rights. <laughs> Remember now, we only have every, every what, seven years that we get the right to vote because we don't have the necessary 38 states to enact it in law so that we can vote. So they have to renew our right as African-American people to vote. They have to renew that. We don't have that right. Now we are before the Supreme Court. They have taken our right to run our city. They're running our cities into hell. We've got to deal with this now. If we don't deal with it today, forward, it won't happen. We've got to deal with it now. You cannot go home and sit on your behind and allow this to continue. We go to work from this day forward and we go to work now. Let us get on our marching shoes. Yes. Let us get our, our, our hands in the air. Yeah. Let them know that this is our America. Yes. They're trying to turn the hands back of time. Yes. We cannot allow that. Right. Brothers and sisters, friends and enemies, let's deal with it now. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. We are going to fight now there's a revolution going on. Yes. And this revolution is live. Yes. This revolution is not in the newspaper. And it's not on the radio. This is live. We're coming to you to fight for our right for survival. Yes. We cannot survive if we allow the Supreme Court to appoint our president, to appoint who runs our city, deal with it. Deal with it today. Let us stay until we hear a verdict. They're not going to vote on not allowing us to make our decision. They have come into Detroit and taken our gyms. They've taken all of our uh, 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 gyms in the city of Detroit. Now they're moving on the city itself. And this is one of the things that we've got to stop right now. They've come into a city like Inkster, one of the most historic African-American cities in the United States. Many of you don't know about Inkster. But Inkster is one of the most historic cities of African American people in the United States. That's the city that Alex Haley wrote Roots and the Autobiography of Malcolm X sitting on the front porch. That's the city where the Marvelettes came from that put Motown on the map. That's the city that had the first African American owned and operated supermarket in America. The city that had the first African American owned and operated radio station in America. They have come in and taken our city. They've come in and taken Ben Harbor, Flint, Pontiac. We've got to stop it now, brothers and sisters. Deal with it. Power to the people. Power to the people. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Let the people vote. Let the people vote. Let the people speak. I'm Tova Perlmutter. Uh, Tova is T O V A Perlmutter, P E R L M U T T E R. Mm.
are you here today? I'm here because it's an outrage and actually quite shocking to me that the uh, effort to repeal PA4 is not yet placed on the ballot. Um, it's quite clear there were enough signatures. It's quite clear that a huge number of Michigan citizens want to see this law uh, made available for the voters to reject as it should be. It's a constitutional affront. Uh, and yet, because of pure party politics, uh, the effort to repeal this law has not yet been placed on the ballot. Um, it's, it's astonishing to me. It's really astonishing. Uh, the grounds that they're using are the most trumped up, ridiculous kind of excuse or pretext that I can think of in certainly in the last 30 years or so of our democracy.